Hey guys, this is Gobi, a Holy City driver. Sorry for the late posting. I've actually been spending the last few hours trying to catch up on things that went on today in the General Assembly. And I actually have to thank those guys right now. Um, there's a couple of representatives out there. One voted nay to the current changes to the bill. And I reached out to that person, that representative, and I asked them why in particular, just out of curiosity, and I got a simple response. She said, flat out, all it's doing is giving out a false sense of security. And that she's afraid of, like a bunch of us drivers are, how easily it's going to be to get access to a illuminated sign as we all know you go on Amazon eBay buy them all you want and then down the road somebody using that you know not quickly or anything like that could use that to perpetrate some sort of crime false Uber stuff like that and can cause more issues um, that's what I'm getting from it, and like like, Bert, like the representative said, is she's afraid of the false sense, sense of security. And also, guys, I don't know it, how many of y'all actually watched what happened today or anything like that, but a few representatives, and a couple of them were out of here in um, a couple different counties. And here in Richard County, we actually had one representative that, you know, stepped up and said, uh, no, I don't care. They should be regulated like taxes. That is false. And I think for the representatives that stood up for us and said no to that. And one guy actually made it a point of order, which means that they were trying to pork a bill with an amendment that had nothing to do with what the bill was talking about. The bill was talking about illuminated sign, not dr the drivers themselves. They were pushing to have a SLED and FBI background check done. And like the representatives that stood up and were saying no to it, they were talking about how about, you know, if we do that, what kind of burden would that be on SLED right now? You know, you'd have... Like the guy said, they don't know how many drivers there actually are in the state of South Carolina. And you could have that many sets of fingerprints sitting in sled, sitting in the FBI, waiting to be checked. And it could be months or longer before they're able to process them. And how much effect would that have on the consumer? You know, the consumers being the riders. You know, if only say they get through five sets of fingerprints a day or ten sets of prints a day you know that'd be ten drivers across the whole state of South Carolina that would be cleared relatively quick but guess what you I, I'm thinking we have about ten to tens of thousands if not more I'm not too sure though you know that's speculating and that could be a little bit on the big side how many drivers there actually are here in the state of South Carolina all I know is there's enough that can kill the surge. So that's telling me right there that's a pretty good bit. Um, but, you know, the local state representatives, uh, some state representatives stepped up and one guy did. And he basically said, hey, we went through this a couple years ago when we were doing the original bill. We are falling in line with what the other states have passed, and we will remain in line with what the other states have, have passed. Except for we just want to increase the visibility at night for drivers. And I can see where they're coming from now from there. Um, you know, it make, does make us more visible, but guys like me, I already have a lift amp and a Uber light-up emblem. I've had them. And, you know, that might be why I got I get higher ratings, because riders can find me so much easier. And, you know, I can see the convenience in that. Well, yeah.
All I'm worried about, man, is to see what happens now when it goes to the Senate. There's one more vote in the House for a third reading, final reading. And if it passes through that, and then it will go before the State Senate, which will probably be late this year, early next year. So we're looking at a few more months of this possibility before this is all said and done. But listen, guys, stay close on this, you know, follow up with it. And guys, you need to check on your local state reps. If a representative in your area is not doing your best interest, which you think the right share should be doing, you need to let them know. You know, like they said tonight was, uh, or said earlier today, is they've been getting thousands of emails and phone calls and messages explaining that, you know, you could buy these things on Amazon. And they said they're getting that from everybody. 